how do you get comfortable at the gym? I feel as if everyone's watching me and they don't think I belong. I'm still on my weight loss journey. I feel like people look at me and think that I don't know what I'm doing. Does this ever go away? Any tips on how to find comfort? So getting comfortable with the gym, it can be intimidating. It can be scary at first. Years ago, I never went into the weight room because I didn't feel like I belonged. And I, I was intimidated by everybody in there. But you just have, and I know this isn't, <laughs> this might not be what you're looking for. You just have to focus on you. And you just have to do it. You just have to do your own thing. Chances are everybody that's there isn't even paying attention to you anyway. Most of the people now are <laughs> taking selfies on <laughs> their phone. They're on their phone between sets. They're looking at their workouts. They've got their music in. So most of the time they're not going to pay attention to you anyway. And if they do, that's on them. If they want to sit there and judge other people for trying to get healthier and trying to feel better, then that's on them. You know, you shouldn't worry two seconds about what they're thinking. Yeah, and and again, I, I like to apply everything with, with all of life. Like, really, you should not think about what other people, like, you know, like, what other people think. I mean, they're not you. They don't know exactly what your goals are, uh, like, your style. I mean, they don't know any of that. And so it's like, be yourself. I mean, that, that's all you, you really should be because if, if not, everyone's going to look the same. Everyone's going to kind of look the same. And so, no, definitely be different uh, with, with everything. Work. Uh, if you start your own business, I mean, I, I always suggest that. Uh, but do everything different. Um, not entirely different, you know, take su uh, suggestions on YouTube, uh, know the right form for workouts, back to the workout thing. As long as you know the right form, um, then that's fine. Uh, do it your way. Do like use a different machine if you want to for what it's not supposed to be. It doesn't matter. I mean, don't, don't care what people think. I mean, I mm -hmm. never do. <laughs> and yeah. I'm a pretty happy guy. <laughs> I think that as you keep going in your journey and as you keep improving and your confidence keeps growing as your strength keeps improving um, it's gonna get easier and easier to ignore that I just turn my music up louder if they want to talk about me or if they want to talk about anybody else they can and they can sit in their negativity and you know their their sad workout keep going keep doing what you're doing um, obviously it's working keep working towards your goals and just focus on you and at the same time, don't judge them back as well. I mean, this is all for mental health as well. And so I know we do it. Um, you know, we'll, we'll think like, <laughs> like, we'll see people staring at us and write them off. But at the same time, it's like they're doing their own workout. I mean, and they have their own you know, things to face. And some of that, maybe it's like they're, they don't want to judge people. Insecurities. Yeah, but it's, it comes back to their insecurity. Mm -hmm. And so they're going probably through the same thing you are when they're just trying to kind of place it on someone else. Like, I'll look at that person. They're not doing what you know, what I'm doing, you know, I'm always better, but you know, in, in their own mind, they're having trouble with what they're doing. And so maybe even ask them for a spot, who knows, uh, talking to true. them just it's normally not say, Hey, do you mind uh, giving me a spot? And if they give a suggestion, say, you know, I, yeah, I mean, I, I might try it. Um, but you know, I'm pretty happy with the way I'm doing things. Uh, just be very confident. Again, it goes back to confidence. So very well said, very well said, break the ice. Yeah. Hope that helps. Uh, the next question, how to overcome food addictions. So things like chocolate and chips. Um, I'm gonna preface this, oh shit. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm gonna preface this by saying that um, I am in no way able to help treat anything like eating disorders or severe food addiction. So please keep that in mind. Um, and I speak from my own experience and just kind of what's helped me because I used to be like severely I guess you could say triggered by certain foods. So if I had any little bit of a certain food, I wouldn't be able to have less than the entire package or, you know, like the whole box. So trigger foods for me used to be um, things like Oreos, cereal, chips, like certain like pita chips and crackers and stuff like that. So anytime that I would have those, like if we're at a family gathering or if we're at home, I would start with say one bowl of cereal and I would go back for another and another and another until I was physically sick from the amount of food that I ate and the whole box of cereal would be gone. So the best way that I found for myself to overcome this and, and these trigger foods or addiction foods is to allow myself to have them. And you guys, I sing the praises of flexible dieting and AIFYM all the time because it changed my life and it changed my relationship with food forever. And the way that I was able to overcome this is whenever I 
started tracking my macros and I learned more about flexible dieting and actually allowing myself to enjoy these foods any day that I wanted as long as I fit it into my intake, I, I was able to just let go of that restrict and binge mentality that I had with these foods. So I would have some some sort of trigger food every single day. I would fit it into my intake and I would have it every day. So I would have, at the end of the night, I would always save room for a big bowl of ice cream or cereal or have like some pop tarts or something. Just anything that I was craving. I would allow myself to have it. And it was tough in the beginning to just have one or two servings of it. It was. But one thing that I told myself is you can have this again tomorrow. I don't have that mentality that oh, I'm eating this, but I shouldn't, so I'm just going to eat as much as I can, and then tomorrow I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to throw away the rest of the cereal, I'm going to throw away the rest of the ice cream, and I'm not going to have any for another week or two. You know, this is it. After this, I'm done. It's a weird cycle, and this weird relationship that you have with food, like you're having to hoard it all because you're going to be so deprived. It's, it's like, it's just that diet mentality, and you know, telling yourself that you're bad because you're eating this one thing, when really one of the best ways to overcome that is to allow yourself to have it and tell yourself that you can if you really want to have it. So I would highly recommend whatever that ad addiction food is for you, let yourself have it. And I don't care if it's every single day, like little bits every day, don't go binging on chocolate every single day, but have little bits here and there and tell yourself that it's okay that you're having this, enjoy it, don't scarf it down without thinking about it, enjoy it and move on with your life and tell yourself that you can have it again tomorrow if you really want it. And I'm telling you that after a good while of doing this, those foods slowly became less and less enticing to me. They just really didn't tickle my fancy anymore. Now, you know, I'll buy ice cream and before we can even finish a pint, it'll get freezer burn. <laughs> or I'll buy a box of cereal and I'll have it for a couple days and then it'll go stale. And I just end up not buying it anymore because it's not on this pedestal. It's not like this amazing food that, that I, you know, have to have or that I can or can't have. Um, it's just the same as any other food. By taking off those limitations for myself, I was able to actually enjoy it without the guilt and without being addicted to it anymore. So I really hope that helps answer your question. What's your favorite Christmas and Thanksgiving tradition? <laughs> like what's something that you do every year that you look forward to? Like what we're doing now? Ah. It's time. Uh, decorating? I know what you like. I'm gonna call it. What we're about to do. You get beaters, and then we decorate, and you put the tree together, and we listen to Christmas music, and then we watch Home Alone. That's close. That's close. <laughs> that's close. Tay. That's close. <laughs> Stop saying that. Pretty close. That. Stop. Wow, that's close. <laughs> okay, one of mine. That's really close. <laughs> Along with that tradition, um, I like Christmas morning. Thanksgiving is too much about food for me now. It's like, <laughs> yes. Yeah. I like for Christmas, we always stay over at my parents' house, and then Christmas morning we wake up and my whole family stays. So me, my two sisters, my brother, my parents, Matt, um, brother-in-law. <laughs> I'm guessing um, my future sister-in-law is gonna be there and then my nephew. And we all stay there and then Christmas morning we wake up and we all go downstairs and we eat breakfast, we have coffee and we just sit around and open presents and just hang out. And we've done that ever since I was born. Um, so that's definitely my favorite Christmas tradition. Thanksgiving we just hang out with family and like I said, it's kind of too much about food for me. Oh, Sophie, hello. And there she goes. Next question. What is your favorite holiday special or movie? My favorite Christmas movie is all of them. <laughs> I'm still a Grinch fan. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you're big on the Grinch. I like the Grinch. The Grinch. We might watch that one tonight. I think one of my favorites is, okay, two favorites, Elf. And a Christmas story. I mean, that was pretty good. Those are my two favorite Christmas movies. 
Yeah. That was pretty good. Yeah, all of them. What's your favorite, Burgundy? The Grinch! Because <laughs> <laughs> she looks like she would like the Grinch. <laughs>